This is a simple demo for using the Coli.js library. This is the output of this code sample. In order to create animations, we first need to uh, create a div in order to specify where we want the animation to be rendered, to be displayed. So I create a small div element with the ID drawing area, then I refer that ID over here when getting the reference for the DOM object that represents this uh, specific div. Here we invoke the add method on the image manager object in order to add images we want Coli.js to use. So in this code sample I use one image the file name is Android logo.png and here I specify a name. This would be the name of the image, a name I will use later in the code itself. Here I create uh, an object that represents the layer. You can imagine that we um, actually invoke a constructor, the layer constructor, and specify the width and the height and layer is assigned with a reference for an object that represents a, a layer. Here, uh, we, you can imagine that we um, create a display object. Uh, object. Uh, it is an object that represents uh, the animation that uh, takes place using the Android logo.png file or let's say using the Android image. So we actually pass over to the display object function an object that represents uh, an animation. Animation um, that, simple animation that includes uh, an image, rotating image. Uh, we specify the X and the Y where the animation should be displayed and here we specify the image the image to be uh, used uh, in that animation so here in this code sample we use the image its name is Android and we ask for a rotation with a velocity of 80 and we want that image to be rendered in the middle in the middle of the layer we are going to use. Here, uh, calling the add to function on the object that represents the animation, we actually ask that animation to be displayed in a specific layer we created before this layer. Here, I ask to add that layer to the render object an object that's responsible for uh, the entire animation, all animations on screen. And here, uh, calling the load function on the render object, passing over a, DOM, a reference for a DOM object that represents a specific div, I actually uh, ask the renderer object to uh, render the, the graphics, the animation, uh, uh, in the very specific div element, its ID is drawing area. When I call the function start, the renderer starts working and we get to see an animation, a very nice animation on screen. This is the outcome. Now if we try to play with the code, let's say uh, increasing the velocity rotate then as you can see it moves much faster let's make it slower 